whether you feel your confidence has been shattered or it's simply been low for as long as you can remember, in order to successfully rebuild it, you need to understand why it's so low to begin with. So in this video, we're going to run through the top five reasons people experience low confidence to help you identify the action you can take towards becoming your next level self. Welcome warriors. This is your man Johnny F here with nextlevelwarrior.com and this channel is all about providing you with the knowledge and tools helping you build your warrior within to become your next level self. And one of the greatest ways that you can do this is to start rebuilding your confidence. Now, regardless of where you're at in life, regardless of how low your confidence may be, this is absolutely possible and I can attest as I spent nearly a solid decade dwindling my confidence through numerous means that I wasn't even fully aware of and I'll tell you that until you understand this and how it relates to your own life, then you won't be able to connect the dots to make the necessary action to level up your confidence. Regardless of where your confidence levels are at, they are directly linked to your deep beliefs in your abilities. The beliefs that we act upon without even realizing it as they are part of our subconscious programming. Now the definitions out there clarify confidence as the belief of what you can accomplish a feeling of trust and belief in yourself, your belief in your capability to succeed. So here's the first reason that we get stuck in a cycle of low confidence. If we are stuck in a fixed mindset, we tend to limit our choices greatly to those of our past narrative or the story of our past, essentially reliving it and fueling this belief cycle of everything that we aren't capable of instead of taking action from a place of our future selves that we wish to create in order to build our confidence. You see, confidence, regardless of how high or low it is, is very much future facing, meaning that you need to have a direction to move in where you can begin to progress on building your confidence levels. But I'll be talking more about that later on, so make sure to watch the video till the end. Now I really scratched my head at trying to find a term here like non-completer, a deserter, quitter, non-finisher, defeatist. If you have a better word or you prefer one of these over the other, then let me know in the comments. But back to the topic of not finishing, but back to the, co but back to the topic of not finishing what you start. It's very difficult to be confident if you have a growing list of incomplete projects sitting on the shelf. And I'll tell you firsthand with my past experience of procrastination that the longer that I spend on something, the more I would hate trying to get it done. And this has been one of my biggest lessons in the past two years with doing all of my own video creation beginning to end, which reminds me of a saying that it's better to be prolific than perfect. So when it comes to completing projects, this of course needs to be recognized as there are certain things that we can definitely drop, but you don't want to keep being weighed down by what's really important to you in those projects. You see, the larger that this list grows without some sort of decisiveness as to the next actions, the more that it's going to impact your confidence. Now, low confidence can of course be the other side of this, where someone's fixed mindset is so focused on the fumbles and mistakes and potential failures that they avoid trying anything altogether. Chances are that you're already aware of this, but this is a seriously never ending loop if you stay stuck in it. So listen closely to connect how this could relate to you in your life. Fear of failure will continue to plummet your confidence levels because it's preventing you from taking the action that actually generates confidence, whereby you create confidence through making progress in something that you believe you're currently not capable of doing. You see, what keeps us stuck in fear is actually looking towards our past, remembering all the times in life where we actually gave up during learning curves or the times that we were severely impacted by traumas associated with it, which of course deepens this fear and belief locking it away. Now, if this is something you've been challenged with in life, then welcome to the club. And I'll tell you the lesson that I wish I heard 20 years ago. No one is a professional the first time they do anything. No one is a professional the first time they do anything. Talent is not inborn. It is cultivated and developed through consistency and work. That means everyone f Next. Something I've witnessed in myself and people I've known again and again is indecisiveness. And not only does this negatively impact confidence, but it also takes up your precious mental real estate. When you make decisions, you cut off all other options. You've made a commitment and understand that you are responsible for the outcome. How does that saying go? 
With great confidence comes great responsibility. How'd that get in there? Something like that. Anyway, indecision results in depleting your willpower, also known as decision fatigue, further weighing down and confusing your mind that the fears and potential outcomes of your decision... What if it doesn't go right? What if I miss out? You're forgetting, what will people think of me? And all this other nonsense that I used to wrap myself up in like crazy. Now you gotta understand that on the other side of this, why this actually builds confidence is because being decisive is about taking action. It's about trusting and connecting with yourself, clarifying your values so that not only do you rebuild your confidence, but also gain a new respect and value for your time. Now, I understand that this can be quite difficult to do on your own without any level of support, which is the big reason why I've created the Next Level Warriors Facebook group to help people with confidence building and numerous other aspects of leveling up your life. So make sure to join the Growing Warrior community and check out the link in the description, but do it after this video. Now, many people think that when they have the confidence, they'll be able to take the action to produce the results. Unfortunately, it doesn't really work that way. And this is what everyone needs to understand here. Confidence is not something you have or you don't have. It's results-based. Confidence is something that you do. It's the result of your actions in making progress that shifts your beliefs in your abilities. But the thing is that this can go in both ways. Your daily actions can either generate a greater level of it or they can reduce it. Let me explain. Feeling, thinking, believing, and acting from a place of low confidence is something that you're directly doing, which continues this cycle. Every time you do anything that contradicts your goals, contradicts your values, or the future that you want to create, you are depleting your self-confidence account. If you look up the research on self-efficacy, you can see that confidence is not what produces achievements, but rather the opposite. The achievements you make, regardless of their size, are what produce confidence. Thus, your direct action will result in either reducing or increasing your confidence levels. And over time, this is where the big changes happen that will directly affect what you think, feel, and believe about yourself and what you're capable of, which will compound those deposits you're making into your self-confidence account. This is just one of the many ways that your personal growth is going to happen. And the biggest way to fast track it on this journey is to really define the future that you wanna have. You can't define your future without clarifying your goals, so make sure to watch this next video for the best understanding of this. To define your goals is to clarify where you want to head to instead of falling victim to the same old story of why you can't get there. And I'm sure you can agree that we've spent enough time running through that same old story. So make sure to check out this next video and never stop growing, warriors.